you want to make awesome stuff with foam clay? In this video, I'll give you the three no-nonsense boiled down basics that will help you get started and make shaping it much easier. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell like it's dinner time because you'll want to be notified of new tips every week that'll help you to cosplay like a boss. Hey Apprentice Squad, I'm Skylar Osler, creator of FOMO, the moldable foam clay for cosplay. Now there are some long videos out there talking about foam clay. In fact, some of them are mine, but in this video, I'm gonna zero in on the three most important nuggets of info that you need to help you know how to use FOMO to up your cosplay game as fast as possible. If you're ready to go, type nuggets in the comments, and here we go. Nugget number one, water is your friend. You can use water throughout the process of working with FOMO. You can knead water into it and get it to be more malleable, or even turn it into a paste for filling big gaps in foam. You can use it to increase your working time by adding a little coat or spritz of water every once in a while as you sculpt. And once you have the piece where you want it, you can put a little bit of water on your fingertip and rub the surface of the foam clay to make it smooth and remove any fingerprints. Nugget number two, clay and foam clay sculpt differently. FOMO is a moldable foam clay, but foam clay doesn't sculpt the same as regular clay. With regular clay, you can scrape away, carve out, and remove sections of clay. But foam clay is a little bit more elastic in nature. So when you're initially shaping it, it's more like pushing and pulling the FOMO where you want it to go rather than carving it out. You can get amazing results, but just remember it's going to be a little bit different than regular clay. Pro tip, you can plan on some of your shaping or carving to happen after it dries and use a rotary tool to sand away and shape out certain sections of it, especially ones that need sharper or harsher edges. Psst, hey, real quick, this video really likes you and it would mean the world to it if you liked it back. So please consider giving it a like. Nugget number three, Drying time may vary. FOMO dry time is a little bit shorter than other foam clays, but it can range from about 20 minutes for really thin pieces, up to 24 to 48, even up to 72 hours for thicker pieces. But my rule of thumb is try not to make pieces too thick and at least give it overnight. A few tricks to avoid making it too thick or using a ton of FOMO is with larger pieces, consider creating a tinfoil armature and building up your foam clay on top of that or creating your base out of EVA foam and then using FOMO to do your shaping on top of that. Another pro tip, you can press FOMO into silicone molds to get stunning details that'll have people asking, how did you do that? For drying, the foam clay needs to be exposed to the air to dry fully. So you can place your mold into the freezer on top of some dinosaur chicken nuggets for about 30 to 60 minutes to freeze it. And then you can demold the FOMO and let it dry in the open air. Once your foam clay is set up enough, but still has that flexibility and a little bit of squish, then it's a good idea to seal it using Plasti Dip or some other sealant to lock it in place. All right, I actually have one more bonus nugget for you, but real quick, let's review the first three. Water is your friend, clay and foam clay sculpt differently, and dry time may vary. Final nugget for you. All this helpful information isn't very helpful unless you take action on it and try it out for yourself. The fastest way to learn and up your game is by doing. So what I want you to do right now, if you don't have some already, is go to Amazon and buy yourself a tub of FOMO. With Prime Shipping, it'll be to your door within one to two days and you can start applying what you just learned and begin to up your cosplay game. I've got a link in the description and right over here. So just click that tub right there and remember, you got this. Anyone can cosplay, and I'll be here if you have any questions. Thank you for subscribing, and cosplay on, my friend. See ya.